All right, folks, the deck is Greybow Prestor Druid. The goal of the deck is to use Capture Coldtooth Mine to draw Lady Prestor, convert all of our minions into dragons so that we can play some random dragons until the end of the game. Now, if we draw Greybow first, we can play him at a reduced cost with the help of Razor Main Battle Guard and Oracle of Elune, and uh, theoretically get multiple copies of him to really frustrate our opponents. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live live at twitch.tv slash ruffle. Watch this! I bring the fury of the elements. What is this place? Shaman has devolve. But maybe it's even Shaman. In which case they're less able to draw into it because they don't have the dungeon here. Okay. Oh. Done. That's very unfortunate for me. I need to go on the dragon game plan then. Nature waits for no one but yeah. me. It's frost spell, usually. The sea floor be its own Maybe there's a little bit of hope here. Yep, yeah, they are probably still running to balls. The devolve? The food is getting cold! Galacron lol? Wait, I thought this was composting. <laughs> Let's just go for here. Press door. Galacron is a good deck. Why is everybody. What? <laughs> Galacron Shaman is good. Yeah, that gets me guff. Like, it's been good for a while. It fell out of favor when um, Snowfall was uh, super busted and there are better ways to play that type of shaman deck, but... Fantastic. On Curve Prestor, let's see if we can get some good dragons. Next turn, we probably just go Cold Tooth into... It's fine. Alright, we do get some, uh... Some value off of that. That can't go face. These are good together as well, or after the press door as well. Why is that nerf hitting so hard? All right. Learn your face. I think more than like, uh, Slow druids, this deck really got bodied by the, uh, the Guffner. Okay. This must be the way. Plenty of those, apparently. Maybe, we'll, maybe they will revert it when Guff rotates? I don't think that's a good thing to do. 
Hit the Nazari, please. Thank you. 6 9. Nice. Okay. This must be the way. Psychic detective coming through. Psychic detective coming through. <laughs> Let's find out what's in their hand. Maybe they've got a shutter walk in there. Oh! Okay, I just want more chances at Galakron because as soon as I play this, they're likely to do the same. I see your crimes. <laughs> unlucky. God. How could I be so unlucky? They're not trapped. They're my friends. Oh, barbaric. God, that's so loud. <laughs> I told you Galakron Shaman is good. Almost as good as Galakron Druid. Double the power, double the storm. I see. The storm has passed. I give up. For Doomhammer. What is this place? We don't want the donkey in hand at the beginning. I said we don't want the donkey in hand at the beginning. Ah, I see you We have turned our curse into our strength. I do say, I see you the All right. See you later, donkey. Idiot totem? Unlucky. Uh, this can get me the Razor main back. Or I could get a bunch of donkeys. Probably just get the Razor main. Right? Well the met, the, uh, hey Ruffle. Sparkle. Thanks for streaming at you friendly times. Love your streams. Keep up the good work. Hey, thank Greetings you, Greetings from Germany. Appreciate the, uh, six months. Idiot totem? I can't see what the totem is. Okay, it's not idiot totem. Lack perspective. 
I'm in danger. Opponent's deck is a good deck and mine is not. Maybe they won't trade into this pelican. I mean, like, four damage is a lot, right? Oh, oh finally, an idiot totem. No health buff. Hey look, unnerfed. Put this card in my deck. Focus. Look, I'm no coward. Beat that, nerd. They can't, because it's literally unbeatable. You just gave them zero mana Totemic Surge, Lethal? Oh, no. What an idiot I am. See, look at how terrifying it is. They have to trade two minions into it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's the card I was hoping to draw here. Surely, surely they don't have Devolve, right? Why didn't they use that on the Millhouse turn when it was zero mana? Don't call me Shirley? Okay, sorry, Susan. Alright, I need this to land on the other Grey Bow. Success. What's the purpose of this deck? I'm so confused. I mean, you're quite literally watching it happen. Although the opponent is not cooperating, this health buff ended up being detrimental. Okay. Oh, they traded! What are you doing? Oh, okay. Opponents just like me. Just like me, for real. As long as it doesn't land exactly on this again. Oh, I guess I can just do this, right? But then this summons two gray bows. No taunt on him, don't do this. Oh my god, they're trading again. So this summons one, and it moves the death rattle here. Uh, 
then I want to go here, here. Maybe I should have held this back, just so that they could swap back and forth. But, I mean, they're over-trading already, so. Okay, well, they just did it for me. <laughs> oh, man. Truly just like me. <laughs> I can relate, because I'm terrible at dealing with Greybow, but, like... <laughs> no! He's no excuse for bad manners. I haven't you played this. Wait, this helps me with the gray bows. Little time. Out of my wounds. Out of my wounds. Has come to Not if it can't attack. Um, I mean, it summons taunt totems, right? You win this yeah, that that was that was an omega throw. I'm not big enough for an exclusive contract on either platform. What is this place? But it's not allowed for Twitch partners to stream on other platforms. Uh, no, they changed those terms recently, and, like, my exclusivity clause never actually said that. But apparently that's just how Twitch interpreted it and enforced it. But, like, the contract that as was written and as was signed by me never actually enforced that. I just couldn't stream on Twitch on Wednesday. Figured I would try a YouTube stream. It went well, so I did it again. Ah. I see you've brought love. I see you've brought guests. For the rest, my lord. That boat's burning again. Oh, God. I can't play the millhouse here, can I? Is what a coward would say. Dear God, what have I done? <laughs> Time grows short. They whiffed on the uh, acrobatics cards, I guess. So they must be minions. Well met. Hello, sir. Hi. Thank you, Coaster, for the four months. For the roast, my lord. I'm gonna take it a little slow here. I can go here and here next turn, assuming this dies. Seems pretty likely. And this gets protected a little bit better. Reflect in the moonlight. Compliment! Compliment! Look at the size of this absolute unit. Rude. Means they're not silencing a taunt, I guess. Or a gray bow. Then, either Guff or Prestor would be nice here. We doing it. Show these mortals your true 
done. Fantastic. And your Blade Master and Yeti in the same deck? True, except uh, Blade Master has Taunt. Wait, but now you're just dead. Is going to be miserable because of objection. What is this place? But this is pretty nice. I can go on a hunt for Grey Bow with that. Maybe it was better just to look for like ones and twos since I'm not going to be playing anything for a minute. But. Ah, I see you brought guests. No. Might be able to get away with tempoing one of these now. Time for the finishing touch. Find out if they win. Oh, yeah. Good news. Bad news. I hate that secret so much! Oh my god. I always just get obliterated by that one. <laughs> oh, it was inevitable because of the way that my deck plays, but it happening on turn two is brutal. I'm late. I'm late. I need to get the minion base secrets out of the way. And I need to get like a turn six setup. There is a chance here now. And even if I whiff on next turn in particular, because I have, like, this is always going to be my first minion. So it gives me, like, at worst, a follow up on the next turn. So. Reflect in the moon well. Get there. I need to go face. I should have done that earlier in the turn, but we do get there. Ooh. Okay. I need to hope that's fair game. Sure. Okay, that's something that they want off the board anyway, so... I'm not saying this is smart, but neither was putting Millhouse in my deck to begin with, you know? Prepare to face the mighty Millhouse Metastorm! Prepare to face the mighty Millhouse Metastorm! Cool. 
Two mana, twelve, twelve. So, what's troubling you? You're not ready for this. You win. Yes. Millhouse too strong. Let the hunt begin. What is this place? Turning at Maw is tempting to keep, but I need a one drop in order for it to be good. Assuming it's Beast Hunter, which could be a reasonable matchup if I'm able to uh, like keep pace with them on board. We set up a fair number of taunts. and coin the press door. And if they have a beaver with the setup, we just silence it with the attorney at mom. Just uh, prevents them from running away with the game early. But unfortunately, they hit the good card, so that's going to make life difficult. Might as well because I have the Annoyatron. Slight punish. Coin the press door next turn. I don't know why anyone is playing Pirate Rogue when Beast Hunter exists. Um, I think some Pirate Rogues are bots now, and people just might. Well, I guess you can't really say that about. People don't un know that Beast Hunter is like a top deck in the format right now, is really the big part of it. That's so good after the press. What a top deck. That's going to be very difficult to come back from. So, probably GG here. I don't even know what could save me other than like a death wing. Of course the harpoon gun always hits the Hydrilodon. I mean, not for me. Anixia? Anixia does not uh, uh, maybe. Anixia does something, yeah. Alright. YOLO. Maybe I should have grabbed the aquatic form first. But... That's not going to help me, is it? Because we know what's at the bottom of my deck. A simple spec. Naturalize. My dream is your nightmare. I mean, technically, we're not dead yet. Wait, these now hit the uh, the dream portals. Ah! 
not even going for symmetry as I'm reaching my head. Punt. Oh my god! What? That is the perfect pair of dragons to hit. Still need to dodge like a Tundra Rhino turn. So I might need to use this for taunts now. Didn't matter. This deck's way too strong. <laughs> I cannot believe more people are just playing that deck. It's like, it's arguably the best deck in the format. And nobody's playing it. Thank you to legendary patrons Battlefly, Brian Quinn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, Jesse Fincham, Justice Crater, Nate Drex, Osiris, Iroflow Scarlet, Shadow Yama, and Vanfix.